Hey guys, um, welcome to my bathroom. Uh, today it is really, really stormy. I was actually supposed to go to an event this morning. There was a crazy storm overnight, like literally mental, and then all the traffic this morning was like backed up literally to my house. It told me it was gonna take me like 1000 trillion hours to get to the event, so by the time I actually got there in town, um, the event would have been over. So, kind of annoyed. I got all glammed up this morning and did my makeup. I was really happy with it, um, and then I had nowhere to go. So I thought, why don't I do a video? I also thought today I really need to um, declutter like my skincare and makeup and kind of do a little bit of a throw out. Make a pile um, to give to friends, make a pile to throw out because it's like old and nasty. And then just like refine my collection just because I think it's just so stupid and unnecessary to have heaps of product um, Just sitting there that's not being used. I'm a blogger So of course I get sent product on a weekly basis. It gets overwhelming. It gets intense But I just think if I haven't used something for like six months and why the hell should it just be sitting there gathering dust? It can either be thrown away um, to make space for other products that I actually really like or it can be given to a friend. So I thought I would do this vlog style just because it's so much easier and I am in my bathroom so if this is a little bit echoey, um, I'm really sorry. What we really want to tackle is this drawer oh, and this drawer. Like, there's, there are things in here I haven't used in like maybe seven or eight months. Like it's just it's just stupid. So let's sort it out, shall we? Okay, let's start with this drawer. <laughs> I'm gonna make a pile of skincare to give away and skincare that just needs to be thrown out. And then the giveaway pile, I normally like take to my friends and see if my friends want anything and then whatever they don't want, I will give to charity. Okay, first things first. Oh, I actually recently got sent this from Pure Fiji. And I'm so sad, it just didn't work for me. Um, it sounded amazing, like it has all these amazing like um, fruity ingredients in it, but I just, I don't know, I didn't get along with the smell, it didn't really do much for my skin afterwards, it didn't really feel very nice when it was on. I felt really bad because I love pure Fiji products, but just in terms of like a cleanser, I just, I, I'm very, very fussy and it's very hard to impress me. So I think that one is going to go. There's just a bit of everything in here, by the way. It's not all like cleansers and serums and stuff. It's just, there's just shit everywhere. <laughs> um, this is, oh my God, this is my fave. Origins Drink Up Intensive Overnight Mask. Holy shit, so good for long haul flights. So good for like during the winter, you just need that extra little um, boost. I literally just lather my skin in this and then let it do its thing overnight. And there's no way in hell I'm getting rid of this. So that is to keep. What's this? Um, pie. This is actually new to New Zealand, but I know that a lot of... Oh, it's not focusing. I know that a lot of international bloggers like in the UK love this brand. Um, I did try this once and I found that it was a little bit greasy on my skin, but that was like in the middle of summer. So I think if I try this in the winter, I might really, really like it because it's obviously super hydrating. So I will keep that and give it another go when it gets colder. Sirene Aqualite Moisture Gel Lotion. I, I did really like this, but not enough to use over my other moisturizers. And I think this is quite a light one, so I definitely won't get any use out of this in the winter. So I'll see if any of my friends want that one. <laughs> That's Liam's skincare sitting there. Um, just, just if you're interested in what he uses. Oh my God, I used to love this mask. This is the Aesop Parsley Seed Mask. And I love this. It's such a good detoxifying one, but it's pretty much like Oh my god, there's literally like nothing in here. So that can be thrown away. I think this is another mask. Oh, the Frank Body Glow Mask. I actually really like that. I haven't used it in a while, but I think masks you just you keep for longer because you could use one once every couple of months and then it's it suits that purpose. It was good for that one time, so I will keep that. Um, Derma Vigils Cleansing Milk. I will keep this. I only got sent this recently and I actually haven't given it a good go. So that can stay. There's also same brand Derma Vigils Base Cream. I think that's like a moisturizer. And I actually think this one has been made to suit my skin because I went and had a facial done and then they gave, they gave this to me afterwards. So I think I will also keep that one. I think I've got like some minis in here. Oh yeah. Eve Long Cleanser, I quite like that. Nice to have a mini. Mario Badescu Flower and Tonic Mask. I love this mask. I've been using this a lot recently. And you take it off and your skin is so freaking soft. Like, I just think if you've got a bit of texture on your skin, this is such a nice mask to use. So definitely 
keeping that one. Avene, I love this brand, and this is a gentle eye makeup remover, but this just didn't work for me. It literally made my eyes sting so much, so I'm gonna give that one away. This is the Pie Gentle Eye Cream. This didn't work for me either. I literally just felt like it was too watery. It sat underneath my eye. Didn't literally just didn't do anything for me. So I'll see if um, any of my friends want to give that one a go. Bobbi Brown. Um, what is this? Skin Brightener. I'm definitely going to keep that. I actually see I barely even used it. So I think I need to give that a good go. That's my Pimple Cream and my Skin Sonic. Obviously going to keep these. I use them all the time. This is a little Bobbi Brown. It's like a skincare palette which is so cute. Um, it has these two balms and a mini face oil, which is my favorite. So definitely keeping that. I'm gonna take that to Bali with me because that is so handy. Okay, now we're getting more to the back. I'm probably gonna find things that I haven't seen in a long time. Oh my God, okay. This is the Kypress Moonlight Catalyst um, Serum. And I bought this in London. La not last year but the year before so I don't know if I can still use that but holy shit this was like $200 and I'd heard so much about this from all the London bloggers so I think I'm gonna keep this and see I'll probably look up to see if there's an expiry date or something but it's kind of like a jelly serum um it's just one of those overnight serum I think it's got like a natural version of retinol so it doesn't have retinol in it but it's got a it's got something else um but I can't even remember how this made my skin look so I'm definitely gonna keep it what is this Oh, I love this moisturizer. This is the Avene. This is the Avene Aqua Gel Cream. It's beautiful. I used this heaps at the beginning of summer. Um, and I could probably use it again. It's really hydrating, but it sinks into your skin straight away. It's actually such a beautiful moisturizer. I actually might um, put this over here and use it tomorrow. Because I remember just absolutely loving it. Um, Tribeca Skin Tonic Sleeping Balm. I actually haven't even tried this yet. <laughs> So I probably need to give it a good go. Mario Badescu drying lotion. This shit is the best whenever you've got a pimple. I've been using this quite a lot recently actually. After I broke out over Easter, so obviously that's going in nowhere. Avene, I do, I love Avene, but some of the products are a little bit hit and miss for me. I didn't like this hydrating serum. I found that it made my face really sticky. So I was really sad about that. So that can go. What is this? Oh yeah, bee venom mask, ferns. I actually didn't get along with this. I was quite sad. It's um a Kiwi brand and I don't know, it just felt quite waxy on my skin. I wasn't keen on it, so that's gonna go. I think this is my Serene Gel Mask. Yeah, I'm gonna keep that. I freaking love that. That's gonna be so good for the winter. 28 Healing Skin Boost. I only got this the other week, so that's not gonna go anywhere. I can actually probably start putting this to the front. My Kiehl's masks are not going anywhere. I freaking love all of them. Like Kiehl's has never brought out a mask that I haven't loved. So this is kind of like an anti-pollution mask, which I really like to use every now and then. Um, they've also got their calendula and aloe one. This is so nice. I used it a lot after I got sunburn over the summer. So I might actually bring this to Bali with me in case, but it's really hydrating and beautiful. I got this a while ago. This is a brand called Carrez. Um, That's gonna go because I think it was just really thick for me. and. I, d I, uh, I don't remember enjoying that one. This is my Murad Clarifying Cleanser. It's a mini version, but it's really good if you're breaking out. It's got heaps of salicylic acid in it. My L'Oreal Pure Clay Mask. This is the detoxifying one, and I love this. I literally use this like maybe once every three weeks or so. It is amazing. I've tried so many expensive clay masks, but this one is actually the best. Okay, we're really getting somewhere. Oh, this trilogy, um, the very gentle range. I didn't really get along with it. I was really sad. I wanted to love it, but I didn't. So that's gonna go. And I think this is, is this the, oh, that's a mask. I might, I might actually keep that because I actually don't know if I've even tried it. Manuka Doctor Rejuvenating Face Mask. Again, this kind of made me feel quite waxy. I didn't like how it felt on my skin, so that can go. Mario Badescu Silver Powder, did not enjoy that, so that can go. This is the other Sirene um, moisturizer. I think the labels kind of come off it, but it's just like they're, they're more like thicker gel moisturizer and I actually really like that, so I'll keep it. This Nivea cream is so old. Um, I think I've used quite a bit of it as well, so that can go. That can probably be thrown out, actually. 
trilogy i actually normally like trilogy products i swear but i really did not like this cleansing balm it just after i used it and wiped it off my face it literally felt like i had so much like it literally felt so weird like it felt like it left so much residue on my skin i just really didn't like that another kiehl's mask that is one of my faves rare earth pore cleansing mask i love this one this is again from that trilogy range the very gentle moisturizing cream didn't like that but can let me go these are the other L'Oreal Pure Clay Masks, and I think just because the other one's my fave, I haven't really given these a good go. I think that's the exfoliating one. And then, what is this one? Purifies and Mattifies. I don't think I liked that one, um, so that can go to someone else. Okay, I've got so much more room now, and I really needed more room. The product launches are just pouring out every single week, and I have nowhere to put them all, so now I do. Oh, okay, this is actually quite tiring. <laughs> um, but let's do the other drawer. This one? No, we just did that one. The bottom one. Oh no, I don't even know if I want to tackle this. I think it's all pretty much cleansers and exfoliators. So I think a lot from this pile is going to go. <laughs> um, what is this? Oh, I really like this. This is something I do love from Avene. This is their thermal spring water. Really nice and hydrating. Also good for wetting your brushes when you're using like eyeshadow and stuff. So I'll keep that one. Jolique Activating Water Essence. I really, really like this. So I'm going to keep that. I just haven't been using much of it. I think just because I like the other toners I'm using at the moment. But I might use this a little bit more when it gets cold. Garnier Purifying Botanical Gel Wash. I never even tried this. Um, <laughs> I just have so many other cleansers that I think... I will like more so because it's unused I feel like I can give that to like a family friend or something what is this oh yeah Manuka Doctor um, age defying facial bronzing gel I love this it's like fake tan for your face but it's really really good um, Mario Badescu enzyme cleansing gel I haven't even tried that so I'll keep that to give it a go oh my god this this is so hyped up on YouTube, the Purity Cleanser. I got it when I was in Aussie um, last year, year before. I don't know, and it's terrible. It made my skin feel so soapy. Um, yeah, I mean, I think this is Jaclyn Hill's favorite cleanser, but I thought it was so, so bad. Like, that's just gonna get chucked, I think. This is another L'Oreal Micellar Cleanser Water. Definitely gonna keep that for when my other one runs out this cleanser i actually used heaps in the summer and i only recently um switched from this in the morning to the keels one um but i love it so i'll probably take that to bali because it's really good for like hydrating your skin but not stripping the oils away but it also keeps you from being really oily like in the mornings and the stuff is expensive so <laughs> i'll definitely keep that i might even get some use out of it like at the end of the year when it gets a little bit warmer again this is another glycolic acid product so great if you've got acne scarring um i think that's pretty much out and i bought this ages ago so that can just get chucked um another sirene product what is this this is the toner oh i really like this i'm gonna keep that one i think this is from shiseido shiseido Wasso. what the hell is this is this a mask oh it's oh yes no this is a gel moisturizer and i didn't like it <laughs> um i can't remember why but yeah no i definitely didn't like it kills calendula deep cleansing face wash um i really like this i just like the other cucumber one better so <gasps> it's barely been used i think i could give that to a friend and i think they would really enjoy that this is another Kiehl's product from Christmas. This is the Calendula um, Toner. I will keep that just because super cute Christmassy packaging. Um, and I actually don't even think I've given this a good go. So I should probably give that um, another uh, decent run before I give it away or chuck it out. This is another pie product. I tried this once and I really liked it. But it's super hydrating. So I thought maybe I'll just keep that away for when it gets really, really, really cold. And then I think that'll be really nice to use in the winter. I love Manuka Doctor products, but this is the worst mask I have ever used. It's one of those masks you put on and then you peel it off your face. And literally, like, you peel the littlest bit and then it all, like, 
only little bits come off so like your, your face ends up just being a mess because it doesn't all pull off like together if that makes any sense um yeah i absolutely hated this <laughs> hate's a strong word but um I, I couldn't even get it off my face i had to scrub it off and you're meant to peel it off and it was just it was really bad and annoying so that can go i don't even know if i want my friends to go through what i went through <laughs> so that might get chucked but i love manuka doctor products okay i think we've got a lot of like l'oreal garnier products um, i actually really like this cleanser for when i'm a little bit spotty i just kind of forgot about it but I think there's a whole collection. Yep, there's a, a moisturizer and a cleanser. So I think I'll actually, I think I will keep these just because if I do get really spotty, I want to give all three of them another good go together. I really like them when I tried them. Garnier, I think this was like a cleansing milk. Yeah, it is. Cleansing milk with rose water. I don't even think I've tried this. It's just sitting in there. So I'll definitely keep that. Alpha H. Um, this is actually a exfoliator with glycolic acid in it, but I didn't like it. Um, I think it's been sitting in there for a long time. I got this about three years ago when I went to Melbourne, so that can get chucked. And then I also have these. These are like um, the cleansers that go with the masks. And I think this is an exfoliating one. I might keep that, I might keep that but again, just like the mask, I think I'll give this one away. Honestly guys, that is literally it. That is all the skincare that I have um, reorganized. I have so much more room now and I can just fill it up with more and then <laughs> repeat the process again in like six months time. Hello, it's me from the future. I didn't plan to do like a part two on a different day, it's just when I was doing the skincare thing um, I ran out of time so I needed to do the makeup declad on a different day so here I am, it's a different day, it's about four days later uh, but let's get into the makeup decluttering. So I've pulled all my makeup out onto my desk, it normally sits um, in here and as you can see, I mean this is all makeup that I pretty much use every single day that I am not going to throw out so there's no point in including that. But, let's go through all of this because clearly, evidently, there is far too much. Where do we even start? Oh my god. I feel like we start with the bottom drawer because I think the bottom drawer is probably the drawer I touch and open the least. Oh, this is a limited edition palette from MAC that I got uh, at Christmas time. Look how gorgeous that is. So yeah, obviously it's beautiful and it's limited edition, so that's not going anywhere. Oh, I have this Natasha Denona palette. I actually got this like maybe two years ago and I never use it. I don't know why. I just think the colors are quite intense. Oh my God, okay, I just opened that. I had no idea that that was cracked. Uh, that's annoying, but yeah, as you can see, the colors are beautiful. So I'm gonna keep that and I'm gonna try and get a little bit more wear out of it. Oh my God, okay, I just opened that. I had no idea that that was cracked. Uh, that's annoying, but yeah, as you can see, the colors are beautiful. So I'm gonna keep that and I'm gonna try and get a little bit more wear out of it. Oh my God, I completely forgot I had this. I'm pretty sure this is champagne pop. Yeah, the Jaclyn Hill. Um, Becca highlighter. Is this cracked or is it okay? Oh yeah, it is cracked. Oh man, I really need to look up um, how you, you know, how people um, like fix these. <laughs> how do I describe it? Like how they mold them back together. I need to look that up. If anyone has any tips on how to fix this, um, please let me know because as everyone knows, obviously this is the most beautiful highlighter in the whole entire freaking world. And I want it to come back to life. This is MAC Peach. It's one of my all-time favorite blushes, but I pretty much only ever use this in the summer but I'm definitely keeping that I love this what is this um oh this is from Wet n Wild I actually haven't used this properly it's like a bronzy shimmery highlighter but I think you can also use this as like eyeshadows it's so pretty oh my god okay this is gonna be really hard to throw away makeup this is the MAC eyeshadow that I've had for so long and it's like purple and I've just never worn it so I'm gonna throw that away this again is a MAC eyeshadow from that Christmas snowball collection so definitely keep that. Look how gorgeous that is. This is a palette YSL released last year. I think it's a lip and eyeshadow palette. Yeah. Oh, it's actually quite pretty. I completely forgot about this. Um, okay, so I need to start using that. This is a Bobbi Brown Christmas palette that came out <laughs> at Christmas, obviously. Isn't the packaging just absolutely stunning? I think I remember thinking at the time that these were quite um, dark shadows for summer and I wanted to put away for winter. So, so I think I'm going to bring that to the front of my collection and start using it now because I think the shades are perfect for autumn and winter. Oh, I have this NARS palette. Look at 
this packaging, I have so many gorgeous palettes with just incredible packaging on them. I got this so long ago. <laughs> and as you can see, it's quite well loved. So that's Laguna Bronzer. I have completely hit pan. That was like a highlighting powder. Um, <laughs> I think I need to. It's quite good with these palettes because you can go and like replace the little, what are they called? The pans of makeup. So I might need to do that soon just because the packaging is so gorgeous. And obviously these blushes are amazing. So I would never get rid of this. Guys, I have the ever so famous Charlotte Tilbury um, Film Star Bronze and Glow. And it's amazing. It's so amazing. I just kind of forgot that I had it. So it's got like the bronzer, contour color and the highlighter. Um, I really need to use more of this because it is just so gorgeous. These two are from the um, Estee Lauder Victoria Beckham collection. Oh yes, I love this shade. How stunning is that? It's like a bronzy, kind of browny, goldy color. And then I think this shade... Oh no, there's two colors. Oh, I think I'm going to keep that just because I don't actually have an electric blue like that. And I remember this color being a really nice crease color. Oh, and again, this is actually one of my favorite highlighter products. It's from an organic brand called Anika. And it's like a cream highlighter. And honestly, it is freaking gorgeous. I use this so much um, during the summer. So I think I'm going to take that with me to Bali. Another Bobbi Brown palette. I think this is just like a matte. Yeah, it is. It's like a matte neutrals palette. Okay, that will be so handy as well for this time of year. Okay, second drawer. Ooh, there's a lot in here. What is this? Ooh, I think this is a Bobbi Brown blush. Oh, this is the one I got sent for the breast cancer campaign. And I actually don't think I've used it. It's a little bit pinky for me. So I think I'm going to see if one of my friends want that one. I'm sure one of the girls will love to have that. And they'll just get so much more use out of it. This is the new um, Luminizer from The Balm. And I think it's quite bronzy. Yeah, it's quite bronzy. It's really pretty though. I just got sent it recently. So I'm definitely going to keep that. And then I'm obviously going to keep my Mary Lou because best highlighter in the whole world like literally you can't go wrong with it then i have the betty lou and i think this one is really dark i just opened it and i actually don't think i've used it <laughs> it's just so dark and i just don't know if i will actually use it so i think i'm gonna give that away to a friend what is this nas man ray i think i got this for christmas in the christmas collection that they brought out oh yeah oh i actually don't even think i've used it so that can go to someone who will get more use out of these shadows they're so pretty but i just i just know i won't go for them the balm bahama mama bronzer this is actually a really beautiful bronzer i'm definitely keeping that one i think this is a blush trio again from the balm i have so much from the balm but i really really like their products um oh that's really pretty okay <laughs> keeping that as well the balm frat boy blush this is a classic so i'm not going to get rid of this such a beautiful peachy blush. I have this Benefit California blush and I remember trying it once and not really liking it. With blushes, I'm just so particular and if it's not the right color, then I just will never wear it. So, oh, I can't even open it. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna get much use out of this. So I'm gonna give that to a friend. Benefit Hula, I absolutely freaking love it. I haven't used it in ages, but I'm definitely gonna keep it. Soap and Glory Solar Powder. I don't even think you can get this in New Zealand. I got it in London and it is such a nice bronzer. I forgot I had this. I'm so happy I refound it. This is a little mini Bobbi Brown um, bronzing powder. I haven't used this and I think I can give that to a friend because I probably just got a million and one too many bronzers. Oh, there's another product from The Balm um, sneaking behind there. I think that's an eyeshadow trio. If I'm completely honest, I don't think I'm going to use this so we'll see if someone else wants it. Another product from Anika. I think this is a blush. Look at that. That is freaking gorgeous. You're not going anywhere, honey. I really like Wet n Wild as an affordable brand, but these products just take up so much freaking room. How stunning is that, though? <laughs> I really don't want to give it away. I think I'll keep it for another couple months, and if I don't use it in the next few months, then I will give it away. That's what I'm going to tell myself anyway. <laughs> Guys, this used to be my all-time favorite favorite bronzer from bobby brown but i got it like four years ago um <laughs> in the shade golden light uh i think it's nearly run out yeah it's pretty old and gross so i think i'm just gonna throw that one away and potentially um buy a new one this is like one of those um cream cheek tints from elizabeth arden this is one of those like cream cheek tints from elizabeth arden but i remember trying this and just not liking it it was way too watery so that can go Ooh, if this is the shade i think it is i'm gonna be really excited yes this is actually my favorite uh, blush to wear 
in the autumn winter isn't that perfect it's like a really deep kind of nude color with a pink undertone it is so beautiful for winter yay i'm so glad i found that that's gonna come straight to the front of my collection so i can use it my milani baked blush i love this i should have worn this more over the summer um maybe i can whip it out again in spring because it's quite peachy uh but these are beautiful and milani is literally just about to launch new zealand and farmers because i got this one when i was in la last year so that's really exciting really affordable really good this is from the Lancome um, Olympia Latan collection that came out not that long ago. It's kind of hard to show you guys, but um, it's a cushion highlighter. And I didn't use it enough, but I need to, obviously, look at this packaging. I can't throw this out. It's like hand-stitched. It's so gorgeous. So that is staying put. Too Faced Milk Chocolate Soleil Bronzer. This is great for winter because it's really, really light. I didn't realize I had so many Wet n Wild products. Oh yeah, this is a beautiful highlighter. Very pinky, but honestly, you guys, this is such an amazing affordable brand. So if you haven't picked anything up from Wet n Wild, I would highly recommend. Last product for this drawer is a Mecca Max highlighter. Um, it's just, it's too dark for me. Like, this is meant to be a highlighter, but it more looks like a shimmery, blushy bronzer. Uh, I just don't think I'm going to use this, so that can go to a pal. Okay, so this is what I'm getting rid of from that drawer, and now I have so much more room. Okay, so this is the top shelf. This is where all of my favorites live. I'm probably just going to skip over this because I'm looking at this and there is nothing <laughs> that I want to get rid of. Okay, I'm going to whiz through this as quick as possible because I know this video is getting really, really long. This is actually a really cool new release from L'Oreal. It is like their brow pomade and it's actually really, really good. Keeping that. Guys, I have the Laura Mercier translucent powder and I actually really didn't like this. This is just one of those products that the whole world is obsessed with and I tried it and I was like, this is so average. It was expensive so I'm going to keep it. This is the MAC Painterly Paint Pot. I've had this for so long. It's like four years old, so I think I just need to throw that away. I really love it though. These are such a good little base to put on um, underneath your eyeshadow. The Bare Minerals Bare Pro Foundation is so good. Uh, this shade is just way too light for me. I actually think I've got two. Yeah, I've got two. Um, they're both too light for me, so I need to wait until I am not fake tan and that it's the middle of winter. Maybelline um, Matte and Pores. That is way too dark for me, so opposite problem. That can go. L'Oreal Age Perfect and Aging Foundation. I might see if mum wants that. YSL All Hours Foundation. So good but this is just so light for me so I can only really wear this when I'm not tanned. I have two shades of the NARS what is this called? Velvet Matte Foundation Stick and I've got a darker shade for contouring which is actually really good and then a lighter shade so I'm gonna keep those. Clinique uh, Chubby Sculpting Contour Stick. This is such a good one. Gonna keep that. Oh yeah I have these Tom Ford mini lipsticks um, and it's a really really cute casing. Oh won't let me open it. I think they're all like reds and pinks so I'm gonna keep them just because they're so pretty. This is the Balm Even Steven uh, foundation. Like, can you believe this is a foundation? It's really dark, but I do really like it. But also, it's just like I have so many other foundations. I don't know if I'm going to use it, so I might actually get rid of that or see if a friend wants it. Oh my god, lipsticks. Okay, if I go through all of these individually, it'll just take so long. So I'm just going to quickly uh, divide them into keep and not keep, and then I'll quickly show you. Okay, this is all going. This is what I'm keeping. I'll try and run through this as quickly as possible. So I'm keeping all of these Maybelline uh, Gigi Hadid lipsticks because I really like the formula um, and all of the shades are really pretty there's a whole bunch of reds um, there's a whole bunch of nudes and I love the packaging I don't know I just I'm pretty sure it's limited edition so I don't really want to get rid of them I have two of the Lancome juicy shakers these are so amazing I love this one uh, they are matte but they are so moisturizing like the most moisturizing beautiful matte lipsticks ever so I'm gonna keep those I have this beautiful Lancome lipstick um, which was also oh I can't get it off um, a part of the Olympia Latan collection. Look how cute this is. It's like red lips at the end. I almost never want to use it, but it's just sort of, it's just nice to have. I have a couple of Clinique lipsticks. This is the like Clinique Pop. It's kind of like a beautiful red color. Definitely going to keep that. They're so moisturizing. Two lipsticks from the Clinique Marameco um, collaboration. That is like a deep like magenta purple. And that is like a beautiful berry shade. So I'm definitely going to crack that one open in the middle of winter. I have two of the MAC Retro Matte Liquid Lipsticks. These are so pretty. I love the formula. So I'm keeping them. I also have a bunch of like classic MAC lipsticks. So that is Russian Red. That is Velvet Teddy. 
and this is actually a black shade but I always whip this out at Halloween so keeping that one I also have some limited edition ones from Christmas which are obviously so beautiful why would I get rid of them these L'Oreal color shine lipsticks are freaking amazing like the best um, affordable lipsticks so definitely keeping this one it's just like a beautiful nude color keeping this beautiful Mecca Max it's like a beautiful orange shade Keeping this Bobbi Brown Crush lip color. These came out recently. They're so beautiful. This is in the shade Cali Rose. And they're just the most gorgeous, like, very rich pigment lipsticks. Then I have this Estee Lauder Pure Color Envy lipstick in the shade Intense Nude. So it's kind of like a brown nude color, um, which is quite nice to have at this time of year. And this is another one of my favorite L'Oreal lipstick formulas. These are the Lip Paint Lacquers. They're so beautiful. And this is such a gorgeous peachy nude shade. So, so nice. So, yes, that's going to fit in there. Perfect. Perfect. Then I have all of these like, lip glosses. I've got like a Bobbi Brown one. I've got a Stila like kind of vampire color liquid lipstick. I have a Lancome lip gloss. These are beautiful. Another one in like a pinkier shade. I have two of the NARS uh, lip pencils. This one is the matte one in the shade Dolce Vita. I know this is such a popular shade and rightly so. It's freaking gorgeous. And then this is the satin one in the shade Lodi, which is also really pretty. Then I have a Bobbi Brown uh, lip gloss that I like to keep in here. And a Mecca Cosmetica. Um, it's just like their lip gloss pots, which are really, really pretty. And they smell like cake. So good. So I'm getting rid of some Caramel um, lipsticks that I've had for a while. A MAC one, um, this Wet n Wild one, it's kind of like blue translucent lipstick, like I'm never going to wear that. An old MAC uh, limited edition lipstick, this is like the colour of concealer, so I'm never going to wear that. Mecca Max City Slicker Lip Oil. I don't really like lip oils, so that can go. I love these L'Oreal Balmain lipsticks, but I kind of came to the conclusion that this is another one of those uh, lipsticks that looks like concealer on your lips, so Urban Safari, that can go. I have a couple of NYX lipsticks I'm going to get rid of. I actually think most of these I haven't even used. I have a Wet n Wild one. I just have so many like lip glosses and liquid lip uh, lipsticks <laughs> that I just never wear and I don't need them. A couple of these benefit their real lipsticks. Just I just wasn't really into these. And I have all of my like eyeliner uh, sorts of products in here. But I actually went through this recently and there's nothing that I want to get rid of. So that means we have come to the end. So my collection is looking so much more organized. Oh, it's just like the best feeling where you just get rid of stuff that you don't need. It's very therapeutic. So uh, yeah, I'll just show you quickly. This is still excessive. I'm totally aware, but I am a blogger, remember? So I have this shelf and then down here I have that little bit, but it's just all so much more compact now. And I know that all of the products in there I really like and I know that I'm going to use in the next six months. I'm totally aware that this is going to be a really long video. So if you've watched till the end, um, I'm impressed. Uh, thanks for watching. Give the video a thumbs up if you liked it. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe. And I will see you guys in another video super duper soon. Bye guys.